Let's bring you up to speed now. Uh, President Muhammadu Buhari is taking a tougher stance against the problem of insecurity in parts of the country. Uh, he has ordered heads of the country's security apparatus to ensure armed bandits and kidnappers terrorizing certain parts of the country are immediately and ruthlessly dealt with. Chief of Defense Staff disclosed this to State House correspondents after this week's the National Security Council meeting. He said the strategy is put in place to handle the security issues in Zafara State. We're at the front burner of this meeting. The Acting Inspector General of Police, who also briefed newsmen, assured Nigerians that the Kaduna Abuja Highway is now safe for travelers. This, he said, followed recent operations embarked on by the police on the highway, which had cleared it and its surrounding areas of kidnappers. And meanwhile, for members of the House of Representatives, uh, President Muhammad Buhari has to address the nation within 48 hours over the spate of killings in the country. The lawmakers also faulted the alleged uh, inability of the security agencies to stop what they termed recurring deaths of scores of innocent Nigerians annually. They resolved to constitute an ad hoc committee to interface with the presidency regarding the request. The committee will also engage the Minister of Defence, Chief of Defence Staff and Service Chiefs, among others, in a public hearing to find permanent solutions to the killings. They also called for the establishment of permanent security presence in immediate proximity to affected communities and a provision of a timeline within which the attacks would be curtailed. Joining me now is Public Affairs Analyst Chuks Ngoko to help uh, take a look at this issue. Chuks, good morning. Hi, right, morning nice to you. Nice to see you. Morning. All right, Thank now you. let's look at this issue. The, the, there has been, in fact, headlines across the nation in the past one week has been very troubling when it comes to security. Mm -hmm. But the president has given uh, 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 an order, a matching order to security agencies. Now, how much of a game changer do you think this is? A great, a great one. Um, I, I, I believe that it's, it's coming too late from him. And by the way, we need the president to give a margin order for our security operatives to be able to, um, you know, see this as a national challenge and, and live up to their responsibility, constitutional responsibility, the police uh, especially. But obviously, with the elections and the requirement for police in every nook and cranny of the country, um, this, this call has uh, become very, very uh, timely and welcomed uh, and, and it's, the, it's appreciated and the house right. of reps is giving the president 48 hours to address the nation on this uh, how i wonder what impact that is going to have i don't know the essence of the address i think that what needs to be done um, what should have been done last year uh, has been left undone now that is is made up given that matching order i i think that's uh, what we should concentrate on so that we don't start another act of distraction let these people go and deal with this issue. Let there be a synergy between the agents, uh, security agencies. Let there be cooperation. If there have been lack of cooperation in the, in the past, this is the time for these agencies of government to cooperate and deal with this issue decisively, because those lives matter. A lot, of, a lot of analysts that we have spoken with, uh, even so many Nigerians, are now saying that uh, the service chiefs have uh, exhausted all the ideas and concepts they have about the security issues it should be rejigged and new 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 blood sent all new new ideas brought I, I, I i agree with them um you know i i, I was talking with um, a colleague of yours before i just came on set that i i last year in 2018 i listened to um your your television station here um and listened to your security experts and all that which i am not uh, and, and they kept saying the same thing, uh, you know, how that they need to rejig the um, security ar architecture and all the things that they said and all that. And as experts, I, I thought they, they made the point that would have allowed government to, to listen in and take those steps that were recommended. But what I find very interesting is that um, nothing is really new. I'm sure this thing that is going on in this country has happened elsewhere. 9-11 um, is one event that you, all of us are aware mm. of. So how did it happen? All lessons were learned. And I think that as they go take care of this issue, we should find talents in the, in the, in the Air Force, find talents in the, in the Army, find talents in, in, the, in the military. Yeah, in fact, Those talents um, must be encouraged. And, and I, I was in your program on, on Friday, on Wednesday, and I mentioned a name that I think that all of us should study. As far as I'm concerned, we should research him and find out how 
he was able to carry that prestige, that zeal, that passion on behalf of the citizens of the United States. His name is John O'Neill. And they, he became a demon chaser. He was chasing terrorists all over Africa. He chased them around America, came to Kenya, came to the Philistines, went to Egypt. He chased these, these guys. Unfortunately, he, he, these terrorists distracted him while they were walking towards 9-11 and, and brought his attention to Africa by targeting Africa, um, American targets in Africa and other parts of the world. So these guys are criminals. They think they're always ahead of institutions. So what you need is talents um, who can, can devote outsmart, their lives. Outsmart and think yes, ahead. Who can, who can devote their lives, show patriotism and, and zeal by chasing these bandits and all, all right. that. So the military, Air Force and police must find such talents within their ranks. All right. And I know Nigeria has a lot of those uh, talents. Ab absolutely. Uh, patriotic, altruistic uh, citizens in the, in the system. All right. Chuk Smoko, thank you very much for thank coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you.